Hi guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Underrated Hijabi and in today's video I am going to be trying the cheapest and the most expensive biryani in London. When I got to the location I saw two biryani spots. Biryani Hub and Herbadebad House. I noticed that both of them charge £2.50 for biryani. So I thought, let me try both of them. But before we begin, let's look at some of the reviews. This is the first review on Google. Have been taken from here for years, though not regularly. However, yesterday when I picked up my packs, my son found a cockroach in the food nearly at the end of his meal. Obviously, we didn't pay for the cockroach biryani though. Please check out the picture yourself to decide never again. And there is the cockroach that he's talking about. Another said, diarrhea guaranteed behind the beautifully presented food. That that was a painful experience please avoid stale food the food stinks the phone numbers are of order never expected to be served stale stinking food this place needs to be shut down we'll be making a formal complaint to the council some of the positive reviews some people have given it four to five stars one said very affordable biryani and it tastes as good as habidibadi dum biryani as is mixed reviews we're now going to give it a go two pound fifty biryani here we come thank you you know who this is? How much is the cheapest biryani? Chicken biryani, 250. Yeah, I can I get that? How many? One, one. These are all the curries. Oh, that was quick. Thank you. These are all these. This is the way it is. Thank you. We are now going to go to Biryani Hub, which is literally next door. Before we go in, let's read some reviews. Utter worst food ever. Rotten chicken, kids and pregnants, beware of the food. I travelled one hour and 40 minutes for this restaurant, seeing the reviews and ordered several items like chicken biryani with chicken 65, chicken noodles, chicken kebab, chicken wings and chicken kira. Seeing those large quantities, we thought that they had a good movement of food. They won't have leftovers. To my surprise, all items are rotten. Coming to the kira, it's not kira, it's rice pudding, but it tasted good. Guys, please do not serve this kind of rotten and half-cooked chicken. They might be kids and pregnant ladies eating this food cook little quantities it's okay to say to a few customers you don't have the food and look at the chicken 65 color why does someone such color food rather good food the surprising thing how these guys are getting such a positive rating for this rotten chicken another reviewer said i have been eating from here for the past some times but off late the chicken biryani served is down very bad smell and also very raw and uncooked pieces are given every time you go you're disappointed with the flavor and uncooked meat other things are okay but biryani sucks they're just they just bus making profits and keeping in mind they need to improve the quality of their food really affordable prices like you get the biryani for £2.50 and it's spicy nice portion too and loads of other chicken lamb and beef and dishes Another positive reviewer said, £2.50 biryani, very cheap, forgot about the price, tastes authentic, abidabadi, proper biryani. One of the best biryanis in the UK, the taste of both chicken and mutton biryani is equal to the authentic South Indian taste. We dined in and took the food as takeaway. Other dishes apart from the biryani is ordinary, parking is quite difficult. Let's buy our chicken biryani from Biryani Hub. <laughs> So guys, I have gone to two places because the price is exactly the same. These two spots, this one is the Habadir Bab, so I cut it just in case I got confused because they look the same. This is our habidabab biryani it isn't it's warm but it's not that warm they both come in these containers i'm not gonna lie to you that's a lot inside automatically you can see that the biryani hub is uh, much more yellower um and it's hot i don't know whether you guys can see the heat let's try the habadir bab bismillah from the back the rice it's a bit hard there is no biryani flavor i think they just added like a little bit of curry seasoning and you know when the rice is like you know when you make rice right and it's still a little bit hard in the center you have to taste it it's very spicy doesn't taste like a biryani 
It tastes like a curry pilau rice. Let's see what the meat is like. There's meat here. And there's meat here. So let's look at the meat. Oh, it's a piece of thigh. So there's a thigh piece, guys. There's one thigh piece. Okay. And I believe there's another thigh piece here. And there's another piece. But this just looks like bone. It's just, I can feel a lot of bone. A lot of bone and it's giving very fatty oh this is hard man let's try and cut it open is it me or is that very pink this looks very very dry so let's try and cut it it's not even cutting okay let me try well this looks very dry guys okay i'm gonna give it a go i think i'm gonna have to cut with my fingers because it's a bit Okay. Let's grab some rice. Oh god. Mm -mm. Be careful. Be careful guys because I just found this. Guys, I just found this in my, uh, it's a piece of bone. So be careful for bones. I don't know, I feel like the chicken wasn't, it's not freshly made. It's very, very hard. As soon as I saw the chicken, right? It's like you put it in the oven with no seasoning. Just added like a little bit of like curry powder. It's, I would give this a 3 out of 10. Only because the chicken is dry, guys. The rice is kind of hard. I found a bone in my mouth. There's no flavour. Like, the rice hasn't got flavour. I just feel like they added um, curry powder. That's the only flavour that I can taste. It's just rice with curry powder and chicken. For £2.50, do I think this is worth it? No. I'd rather keep my £2.50 and go and get myself large fries from Peri Peri. They really need to work on their recipe because it's cold. One. Why is it cold? The chicken is off. So, I, I think that this was made yesterday. Yeah, yeah, it's made yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to save it like that. Now we are going to be giving the biryani hub biryani a go. This automatically looks like a biryani because of the like the yellowness, the colour. It smells amazing. Spin there. And this tastes, I'm telling you guys, probably 10 times better than what I just ate. This, the rice is soft. The biryani flavour is there. It's not too salty, it's not too spicy. It's like the right amount um, and they've added a piece of, let me try and move it, they've added a piece of chicken here and I'm guessing there's another one, wait, is there another one? Yep, there's another one here. Let me take that one out. Is uh, the chicken, as you guys can see there's a small thigh, has a bit of meat on there and then there's the second one. Yeah, these are actually all right sizes. Let's see if they break easily. This one's very pinky, isn't it? Let's just hope I don't get food poisoning. Okay. See this one? Yeah, this is good. These are soft, guys, and they're hot. Maybe they didn't cook it all around because there's some areas which are a bit pink. Let's give it a go. Bismillah. The chicken is nice and soft. What do I keep? These are little bones, guys. Can you see even here? I've got little bones that I'm biting into. You have to be careful when you guys get these. Um, because there might be traces of bone. Mm -mm. Uh -huh. and for £2.50, this is a bargain. Um, it doesn't have a very strong biryani taste, which is, you know, like... But it does taste soft. It does taste succulent. Um, you might have a few surprises, like... Oh, this looks like... 
I don't know. It does taste good though. It's very flavorsome. It doesn't have too much salt. I can give one half to my uh, my sister with a, with a piece of chicken and I have another half for a piece of chicken. Biryani Hub is very, very busy. Like it's more busy than Habideer Bab House. And I think it's because in Biryani Hub, there's a selection of like chickens. Did you guys see like there's an array of chickens? And I don't think they're that expensive because I, I've seen, I saw a couple of people and they literally pay 10 pounds and they were getting changed back. A lot of people buy the biryani. You can buy like a whole family biryani, like five biryanis for how much? £12.50, right? Even four people. Ten out. That's a bargain, you know. Mm -mm. We're going to rate our biryanis out of ten. Um, for the service was good. They were fast, there was a long queue, they were fast, they were quick. The price, £2.50, that's a really good price. I tried to find a biryani cheaper than £2, by the way, guys. F cheaper than £2.50, it doesn't exist. There isn't a single biryani in the whole of London that's two, that's less than £2.50. If you guys find anywhere, please, please, guys, comment it down below. Because I want to see a biryani place that's cheaper. I feel like five years ago, I could possibly find this for a pound. The overall score out of 10 for the biryani, I do give this a 7. The reason why I give this a 7 is the biryani flavour isn't a strong flavour. It's like... It's like malt, you know, and like you could taste that there is a biryani seasoning in this, but it's not very strong. Um, like it hasn't blown my mind away and I get it. It's £2.50. What did you expect? Um, and uh, everything else is amazing about it. The chicken, it, you know, it's the bony. So that kind of gives it another score down. It's just little things you could work on, you know, but it's £2.50. So I'm on my way to the most expensive biryani. Um, I hope I have the right attire for the restaurant, but we are going to be going to the most expensive biryani in London. Very Swami is a 4.3 star Indian restaurant. It has great reviews. One said, I'm a huge fan of Indian food. Very Swami was the best Indian restaurant I've ever been to. Another said, absolutely delicious dinner. Special mention to the lamb champari curry, which was the best curry I've ever had. Amna al Bakari said, the food was delicious. Another said, a must visit restaurant in London. Excellent food and the service. Top management too, which is why they are deservedly the best. AJ said, as someone who is Indian and traveled to India on numerous occasions i was fed up with going to all the gourmet indian restaurants in london that classify themselves as authentic but do not hit the spot finally after just visiting Veriswami, i can highly recommend a fine dining indian restaurant that lives up to its standards the food was nicely presented with decent portion sizes amazing traditional flavors with good service prices are high but that's what you expected from a place like this the taste lives up to its standards i would highly recommend the chicken macaroni or vin and the non-veg platter so this is the menu, this is the dinner menu. The lunch is between Monday by the 12th to 2.15, last order is 2.30. Mm. This is so pretty. This is some light. I'm gonna go up. So, um, oh, it's so warm in here. Mm -hmm. This is the fonda of Everswami. It is the oldest Indian restaurant. I think that's somebody that he knows. The Mughal Prince Faizan. Thank you very much. Oh, that's cozy. This is the restaurant. This is the menu for first mommy. Oh, wow. I can all these. This is what we came for. Oh, it's actually cheaper. 
We came for the Bori chicken biryani. Oh my god, they have a lobster curry. I think those are the oldest chandeliers I've ever seen and I feel like that's how you can buy it right? The biryani is actually cheaper I think it's because I'm on the lunch menu When I checked online it was supposed to be £33 Turns out it's £29 so we'll see I ordered myself a mango lassi It's got a bit of pomegranate in it, it's very thick What's that inside? Okay. It's Nice and clean. That's ice, by the way. Those things are ice. Creamy, not too sweet. On the chicken and the bottom. On the bottom. Is all your meat have on the cheese and lamb? Yes. Chicken meat. Thank you very much. And that's my latia, which is like a yogurt. And this my biryani came with this like hot pot. I'm not seeing spoon at this point. I'm just here cooking this one like that. This is really thick. And this is a very nice biryani, a very well seasoned, very creamy. The chicken's still stuck in it, it's been marinated for like five days. Oh, this tastes so good. Very flavoursome. Very, very flavoursome. The yogurt is very creamy. This is a ratio. It's like a cucumber yogurt with like. It's just like a creamy yogurt. It's like homemade fresh. The biryani is proper fresh. I feel like I've never tried chicken, they're so marinated. Guys, this biryani tastes so good. It tastes so fresh. It's like the rice just came up from the fields and the chicken was like marinated for like two days. You know when like the, the marination is deep inside the meat? Like the meat itself is like they must have been marinating the chicken before they even killed it kind of vibes. The rice is so soft. I don't think I've tried softer rice before in my life. I don't even know what type of rice this is. I might even ask them like what brand it is because I would like to use it in the future. Um, it's very, very flavorsome. Is it worth £30? For the ambiance, service, and the fact that, you, I don't know, yeah, I think it is. This was so good, guys. It's so good. I couldn't finish the rice, guys. I had to leave some leftover because I'm too full. I have most expensive biryani. Okay. I have just left our swami. Um, the rice, the biryani that I got, I had to get it as takeaway because I couldn't finish it guys. With the batia and also with the mango lassi, I just became full so fast. But I'm gonna give this to my younger brother to try. I'm gonna be like, because he also likes biryanis. He loves when I cook biryanis. So I'm gonna like try the world's most expensive, London's most expensive, because the world's most expensive biryani is actually located in Dubai, which I will be trying when I, Oh, my headphones, which I'll be trying when I go to Dubai. It's raining a lot, so the station is just there. The nearest station is Piccadilly Circus. What did I think about Very Swami? Very Swami. Customer service, amazing. 
the whole place is so beautiful like it feels like i'm in like the royal indian empire spices are original spices like they literally probably have their own farm in the back because they don't use a spice mix it's like freshly made like everything just tasted fresh the chicken was the best thing for me because i've never seen chicken so marinated not marinated guys i've never tasted chicken that tasted just like biryani so like i don't know how they marinated that but they marinated it well um and i really like the ratia which is like the yogurt the lemon yogurt not the lemon the cucumber and mint yogurt amazing you guys ever want to try an elegant elegant restaurant that's a restaurant i wish i'd tried different things i really wish i got the chance to try out different items but i think next time if i ever get a chance i would definitely try out different items um yeah but it's great i do rate it and i do give it like a you know what yeah i actually do give it a 10 out of 10 because like the vibe the, the guides that serve me was so nice it's a beautiful place the rice was amazing the quantity was just as great um yeah everything about it was great <laughs> there's nothing i can complain about except for the fact that i had to pay for my ratio when usually it's free um yeah but that's amazing thank you guys love you see you in the next one